Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft along. This is uh, part three. Um, in part one, I did the cover, uh, put the cover together, and in part two, selected all the pages, which I've now um, you know, got them in the order that I want, and I've uh, cut them to size and uh, everything that I need for them to start to be decorated. So I'm just going to start decorating the pages. Um, so how I normally do it is, and I've got my box of goodies here. I've got um, a stencil. This is the Flourish stem stencil that I'm going to use. I've got part of a um, script stamp. Do some script stamping. I've got some worn lipstick, Distress Oxide some archival ink in sepia and some distress ink in walnut stain that's what I've chose to use so let's start decorating these pages um, so generally if I have these very white pages I will always decorate them I don't necessarily always decorate the tea dyed but the, the proper white I like to get them decorated so I just generally work on a page at a time so I'll put them now And I'll start working on on this first page. Um, so I think I want to do some stenciling. I'm going to do the stenciling in the worn lipstick, the pink. I'm going to use my um, distress blending brush. But I've just bought these, and I think it's quite subtle with the um, to do this stenciling with these. So let's just get in there and give it a go. So just going to do a bit of stenciling. We don't, don't want it to be too pronounced anyway, so I want a nice supple um, bit of stenciling. That's nice on that page there. And then I'm going to do similar on the on what is the uh, the back page. Just a nice bit of supple. Stenciling, take away that um, white page and then I'll just do some in the centre here across the two pages in the bottom. nice supple stenciling. So that is the first page complete. Um, so I'll put that there and then I'll take the second page. I just need to find some space. I'm running out of space actually. So I'll put the completed page just over there out of sight for now. And this is my second page which is also uh, quite a white page. So I'm going to do um, on some of my pages I've decided to use bits and pieces from the box. I'm going to use these di dictionary pages. And I'm going to do some kind of a little bit of collaging on some of the pages. So let's take a little bit of ripped bit of dictionary page. Um, get my glue out just got my glue um, and then maybe something like that and when I was looking at these I, I, um, I like the images on these but they are cigarette cards and I'm not um, that keen on having the kind of cigarette advert so I thought I could use that and maybe put like a piece of lace over the over the top there something like that so these are the type of ideas that I've, I've had. So I'm just going to ink the edges. Now I'm not sure how long this is going to take, but um, I probably won't have the opportunity to do every page really because it'll, it's just going to take too long. But I'll, I'll keep an eye on the time and see how we go. I'll do a few pages. Okay, so that's a bit of uh, 
working on that. Well, these are already quite discoloured, but uh, just do it a little bit in case. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna glue this down. I'm just gonna use my uh, high tack glue. Just get some glue around the around the edges. I don't mind if the edges aren't fully stuck down, just, uh, just kind of adds to the adds to the look that I'm going for. So. Don't think I don't want it sticking up that much. Cigarette card. I do like a bit of collage and just try to interest the page. So I'll probably go through with you just a little bit of um, stenciling, stamping, a little bit of collage, and maybe some, you know, like a fabric, fabric pockets or kind of fabric embellishment. Okay, so that's let's hold that down for a sec just to look. That's it. And then on this other side I'll probably do something similar. I normally kind of do it like that and then it saves you you know thinking too much about it we do a similar thing um, so these are things from the box I'm trying to use everything off that's in the box so I'm going to put my little little uh, boy scout or whatever he is I think he's a boy scout so again I'm going to put some let's put a bit on glue on here. I'm sure that this is some sort of an old ticket or something. I don't know. Tokens or something. Let me put that on there. I'm going to put this young man on here. So there I've got a nice bit of collage on our second page. So the first page has been stenciled. Still plenty of room for writing on them pages with the stenciling. And then this page got a bit of collage going on there. And then let's move on. So we've got um some tea dyed paper here and what I thought I might do with the tea dye just put some put some lines on. Um I've done this before and it works reasonably well. I've got these um pens. They're uh, alcohol ink pens. Um all kind of in these uh yeah, kind of yellowy shades really but so I use that end, there's two ends, one's a, like a fine tip and one's a, an angled tip. So what I do with these is just take my ruler and try and get it straight. And just draw. Just 
draw some lines really, just kind of different length. Something like that. Finally, draw some lines, and then with these alcohol ink, it actually goes through to the other side. So, I've got lines on both sides. So, I'll do a little bit on this one. Similar thing, really. So, so I say it goes through to the side because it's there. Uh, that's what happens with that type of ink. So, that's another possibility for decorating some pages. So I've got three, three pages now I've done, stenciling, collage, and some lines. It's coming along nicely, I'm a bit short on space here. Um, and then this um, next one is a digital printed page, which is white on the other side. So my, what I might do on this one is just do some, uh, just do some script stamping with the uh, archival ink. Just tidy up a bit because they're uh, a little bit short on, a bit short on space. So this is just a script stamp that I've got, um, that I've kind of cut around just to give it a bit of shape if you never get the full shape then it's, you don't always want anyway just want little actually i think i'll use my block sometimes i don't use the block but i think i'll use my block today to do this Ink, and, and I'm just gonna oops, it's not sticking to the block. Strange. Just gonna simply do that like that. So that's another one done. All done. Um, and then I've got another tea dyed one which I'm going to leave as is. And then I've got this um, craft card which I thought would make a good base for a, um, some fabric pocket or something because it's got the spring so let's have a look through my little goodie box see what I've got kind of a nice bit of wool in there so I'll use something from here I think um, I want to make a pocket um, let's just try cutting this in half. I'm not going to do any sewing within the uh, within the book. I'm going to um, use some glues.
it's more difficult to show you something when it's on the sewing machine than it is um, just showing it really so okay it might make more like pockets just let's have a work as a pocket. Okay, so I've got a lace on there. Actually I might use this like a More like a belly band. So I'm going to sew this together. So I'm going to sew it by hand. It's keeping the hand sewing theme. I think I've actually got some got some cotton threaded here from before. So. Come on, threaded. Just put the knot in the end, and then I'm simply going to this is quite thick, but going to do a simple straight stitch along here. I just put a pin in that just to just put a pin in just to hold it in position. As I said this is quite thick it could be a lot quicker if it wasn't so thick. But I want to use as much as possible out of the little box as I can. So, so anything I don't use to decorate the pages, I'll be making um, some embellishments. I could actually use the card from the box, and there's some like a sheet of paper in there as well. So I use them to make some tags and cards to go inside. I won't use anything that it wasn't in the box. You know, obviously except for the papers, but um all the other bits for decoration and everything are gonna be from the box, so Okay, that's sewn together. I'm going to have to sew this with a, um, sorry, stick this with a fabric glue, I think. And it's going to need some holding down, so um, I use a couple of clips to, to hold that down. I'm just going to put glue on each end. Put it in the middle. And I say I'm going to hold that with a couple of little binding clips because it's uh, it's quite thick. And might need holding down. Okay, um, where I was up to, I was just about to put the binding clips on this to hold it in place and um, unbeknownst to me the video stopped but anyway uh, it's dry now and um, 
it is belly band. And then I, I thought that was still filming and I went on and did another page, uh, which I'll show you now, where I made um, like a layered tuck spot there. And I talked about these, um, I don't know whether these are cigarette cards, but um, it's all in French. But I think this one's saying that, um, you know, that people are managing to grow things in the desert. And this one, um, had a, um, it said about the dangers of alcoholism on the back. And it was, uh, I ripped a bit off because there was a picture of a lady and a baby who had drowned in the river. So I ripped that bit off, but I've used it. As I say, as a chalk spot there. And on this side, I sewed a piece of lace on top of this bit of fabric. Made a tip in. That's that one. And then I went on, um, and I was going to put another pocket on this side of this craft card. And I've taken a piece of linen, cut it, cut a piece of the doily that I used on the cover. And then I'm um, sewing it on the same way as I did with the cover. So that's what I'm doing, I've already sewn it there. And I say, I did think I was still filming, but uh, it wasn't. But it was getting a bit long, I think that's why. So I'm just gonna finish up this and stick it down to make a pocket. And then um, I'm gonna go uh, away then and um, embellish the pages further, doing the similar things, you know, collage, um, fabric pockets and uh, making a couple of little tuck spots and things like that using everything out of the box because I'd say this video is taking over 30 minutes um, so I think it would take too long if I did the whole thing on camera um, so I'll give you an idea of the type of things I've, I'll, I'll be doing the stenciling, the stamping as well, and um, I'll come back and show you what I've done. And then the next stage will be to make some embellishments um, for some tags and things. I'm going to use the card, which is the box, and there's a sheet of uh, designer paper in there as well. So I shall use that to make tags and things. I'm not going to use anything else. So it'll be everything from the box, or you know, as much as I can. Um, the only other thing was obviously the papers, um, which I've selected to go inside. So, um, yeah, embellishments. I might um, do the sewing in of the single signature into the cover. I'm not sure at what stage I'll do that with you. Okay, um, again, I had issues with the memory. It's when I do something like over half an hour, it's, it, the story just runs out. But um, I'd finished sewing this and I've stuck it on to make the pocket. So there's the pocket made now. And it's got a nice little, um, nice little overlap there on that. That's another page done. Um, a few pages left to do. Um, got uh, the tea dyed, which I'll probably leave plain. And I've got a white, got a few whites that I'm going to decorate. And I'll say it'll be in the same way with, um, with the collage, stamping, stenciling. Um, um, probably some more fabric embellishments as well so I'll just quickly show you what we've already done so I've got the stencil in it's coming together nicely now that hasn't been done yet I'm going to do that page as well so that's where we're up to at the moment few pages have been decorated and the rest will be getting done so I will come back and share with you when I've uh, when I've done the rest of these pages um, yes yeah, so 
I think I've covered everything that I wanted to say, even though I was cut off. I think I've, uh, I think I've covered it. So hopefully I see you in part four, which should be the last part really. I'll just go through making a few embellishments and things, some tags and stuff. So, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in part four. Bye.